And this brings us to Dylan Mulvaney going to the White House. So there's a person I'd never heard of until about a week ago named Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney is a man. Dylan Mulvaney was a star on Broadway of Book of Mormon, which is a very anti-religious musical that was done by Matt Stone and Trey Parker, the, the South Park guys. And Dylan Mulvaney was apparently a talented enough singer, actor to actually be in that show on Broadway. And about three quarters of a year ago, Dylan Mulvaney decided that Dylan Mulvaney was a woman. Now, this had followed on Dylan Mulvaney jumping online at the beginning of COVID and spending a couple of years building up a following. And then Dylan Mulvaney decided that Dylan Mulvaney was a girl. And so Dylan Mulvaney started releasing a series called Day Blank of Being a Girl, right? And it was documenting every single day being, now this is a man, is a grown ass man who's saying that he is a girl. Here, for example, is day one of Dylan Mulvaney announcing that he is in fact a she. And let's be real about this. What this is, is this is a man who is cosplaying as a woman. Actually, he's cosplaying as a young girl is what he's actually doing. Because his characterization of women is sexist, ridiculous, stereotypical, and disordered. Okay, but but this is treated as something good because what this is really about is not about building anything up. What this is really about is tearing everything down. Right? There's no such thing as a man. There's no such thing as a woman. A man can be a girl. A girl can be a boy. And anybody who says differently is a bigot. All institutions that fundamentally undergird human reproduction or the family structure, those must be torn away. The left made the claim in the 1960s that the personal is political. When it comes to this stuff, the personal is very, very political. And pretending that this does not have a political aspect is, of course, incredibly silly. So here is Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan James Mulvaney is this person's name. And this person claiming that he is a girl. This is day one. This is the first video. Something like 8.5 million views on TikTok. Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. So. How'd I do, ladies? Good? Girl power. Okay, so I have a question. Uh, are, are women feeling em emboldened by this, strengthened by this? Or do you feel insulted by this as you should? A man saying that day one of being a woman involves crying three times, ordering dresses you can't afford, and telling people that you are fine when you're not fine. If Bill Burr made that joke about women, he would be called a sexist. But Dylan Mulvaney is cosplaying at being a woman, and therefore we have to pretend that he is, in fact, a woman. Like, day one, we have to pretend that he is a woman. Literally the day that he announces that he's a girl, we have to pretend that he is now a girl. And let's be clear about this. Dylan Mulvaney is a dude. And you can see this. Okay, Dylan Mulvaney, one of the videos that Dylan Mulvaney has on, on his TikTok page is a video of himself singing. Got a very nice voice, by the way. Singing as a dude, and then cosplaying as a woman. And then at the very end of the video, you will actually hear Dylan Mulvaney dressed as a woman singing the way that he used to because, again, he is a he and nothing has changed other than the makeup and the garb and the hair. Personally, I've never met that boy. Seems like a really sweet kid, but I, I just, I don't know who that is. You raise me up. Okay, that's, that is Dil Mulvaney dressed as a girl saying, I don't know who that is. And then Dil Mulvaney, close up, singing the same song, same voice, right? Nothing has changed, but we're supposed to pretend something has changed because it's about tearing down institutions, about tearing down male, female. It's about tearing down reality and factual basis for reality. And it is, again, about insulting every institution that exists in not only the West, but all over the world. So, for example, here's Dylan Mulvaney talking about being a bride. Being a, This is a man talking about being a bride. Here comes the bride. A 54 being a girl, and I grew up as a gay kid not even thinking that I could get married, let alone being a bride. So here are the rules for my hypothetical wedding. Whoever I'm marrying, whether it be a man, a woman, a non-binary person, I am going to be the last one to walk down the aisle. And I hope that doesn't Okay, fine. So it's just amazing. You can't be a bride. You're a man. I'm sorry to break it to you. You cannot be a bride. You're a man. Because the definition of bride includes woman in the definition of bride. And Dylan Mulvaney 
again, being a man, talks in his videos about how he walks around wearing short shorts, like very tight shorts, and people notice the fact that he has a penis because he's wearing very tight shorts. And so he has a few choices. He can either do a painful procedure called a tuck, which involves taping your genitals up underneath you, apparently, or you can normalize the fact that you are, in fact, a man walking around showing your dick bulge while dressed as a woman. But I was walking around and everyone was staring and I was like, oh, okay, what's going on? And they were all staring directly at my crotch. And I went, oh, I forgot that my crotch doesn't look like other women's crotches sometimes because mine doesn't look like a little you're not a woman. pocket. And I thought, okay, Dylan, you have some options here. Number one, you can stop wearing clothes that fit like this and, and just find looser fitting items. Number two, I can do a tuck, which is going to have to be a whole other video, but it's very painful and involved of a... Or number three, I just normalize it. And I wear clothes like this, and we all just normalize women having bulges sometimes. Uh, you mean we normalize men dressing as women and showing their bulge? That, that's, that's what we're talking about here. Okay, so the only reason that this is relevant is because Dylan Mulvaney has now achieved a wild number of sponsorships from makeup, and fashion outlets. This person has 8.3 million followers on TikTok. And recently, this person did a video for Ulta, which is a major makeup brand, talking about how he could be a mother. Uh, it, it was a clip that, that came out last week. He could be a mother. And he never knew that he could be a mother. Well, no one knows that you can be a mother because you can't actually be a mother. Okay, so this caused some blowback. And the Biden administration jumped in. And the Biden administration invited Dylan Mulvaney to interview the president of the United States. Because again, this is how cultures are destroyed from within. The barbarians are inside the gates. You take ideas that carve away at the very fundamental bases of all civilization. And then you treat them as though these are aspects of heroism. You carve away at that. And, and the carving is the heroism. The destruction of the institutions is the point. The burning of it all down is what you want to do. Not in order to build a better world, but because those things are bad. And because you can coalesce a, an intersectional coalition of people who are going to vote for you if you are Joe Biden. You can make political hay out of this sort of stuff. And so Dylan Mulvaney announced last week, late last week, that he had been invited to the White House to discuss life with the president of the United States. And, um, and he talked about what he was going to wear. And the answer was he was going to wear effectively a, a sort of traditionalist skirt suit and sit across from the president of the United States. Here is Dylan Mulvaney announcing last week that he was going to go to the White House to interview the president of the, the most powerful person on the planet and the emissary of American values at home and abroad. Here is Dylan Mulvaney announcing this. Looking for the president's dog. Our queen, love you. I love you. We're about to go. Is there anything in my teeth? Leaving on cloud nine. The president of the United States gave me a cookie. He gave me a cookie in the Oval Office. Now here's the question. Do I eat it or do I save it? It has a seal. I, please, honestly, tell me. Oh, everyone, I'm about to pet the dog. I got to pet his dog. I'm still in shock and don't be mad, but I don't get to post any of the footage until after the interview airs on Sunday night, but it's going to be worth it because I can't wait for you to hear everything that we talked about. I left with a lot of hope and optimism, not only for just trans people, but many different topics. And the fact that our president has watched Days of Girlhood, it's kind of epic. It is, in fact, rather telling that our president has watched Days of Now, I'll, spoiler alert. The president of the United States doesn't know who this person is. I really, really doubt that Joe Biden has been sitting there on TikTok watching Days of Girlhood. One, because he can't stay awake through an entire TikTok video. Two, because he doesn't know how computers work. And three, because he's 80 years old. So there are a multiplicity of reasons why he has no idea who Dylan Mulvaney was. So his very online woke staff brought him Dylan Mulvaney. And uh, a very uncomfortable Joe Biden was then interviewed by Dylan Mulvaney. So the beginning of the interview, Dylan Mulvaney announces that he, in fact, is a she- and Joe Biden reacts with all of the enthusiastic alacrity of a man who is 80 years old and son, somnambulant. This is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God and love you. God love you. Remember, the destruction is the point. It's up at the highest level of our politics. Why? 
Because again, if you're a politician, maybe you hope to channel that into the rebuilding of a better world. Maybe if you're Joe Biden, build back better involves leveling everything else. Maybe for the Democratic Party, you have to destroy these institutions because after all, if you can destroy the institution of the family, if you can destroy distinctions between the sexes, if you can posit the idea that all inequality of result is the result of a failed system, then people will give you power to fix that failed system. Maybe that's the idea behind it. But for the people who are destroying the system, it's just about destroying the system. So this resulted in what I have to say is one of the most disturbing clips, maybe the most disturbing clip in presidential history. Dylan Mulvaney, a man cosplaying as a woman, a man who talks about taking hormones in order to grow his nipples. I kid you not. Dylan Mulvaney, a man who has makeup contracts with, again, a bunch of advertisers who hope to apparently demonstrate their tolerance and diversity by showing that a man can be a woman in the most insulting way possible to women, by the way, just acting as a female stereotype because, in fact, a man cannot be a woman and women are not, in fact, men. Dylan Mulvaney is sitting there with the president of the United States, the most powerful person on earth, and given the fact that the United States is the most powerful country in human history, perhaps the most powerful person in human history sitting across from Dylan Mulvaney. And Dylan Mulvaney asks Joe Biden about, quote-unquote, gender-affirming health care. Gender-affirming health care is a euphemism for giving mass doses of hormones, of opposite-sex hormones, to children and transitioning them toward the point where we then mutilate them, where we take little boys or young men and we cut off their penis and their testicles and we form a fake body cavity and we invert the head of the penis so that it creates a a fake orgasmal structure. Or we take a young girl and we cut off her breasts and we sterilize her and we form a fake penis out of a piece of arm flesh. And this is termed gender-affirming healthcare. Gender-affirming healthcare, which really should be titled, if we were not euphemistic about it, sex-denying healthcare, because that's really what it is. It is taking your sex and it is denying it. It is pretending your sex does not exist. And that what really exists, the truth of you, is your feeling inside your head, your actual body, you know, your material body, which is all structured with DNA, which is all structured with characteristics of asex. None of that exists. It's all in your imagination. And your imagination is really what matters. And well, Dylan Mulvaney asked the president of the United States about this. And here is, uh, here is how this clip goes. And when I say that, that a thousand years from now, people will be watching this clip and wondering how the United States felt, let me just say that a thousand years from now, people will be watching this clip and saying, how did the United States fall? The moral decline of the United States, the moral inversion of the United States, which is really more what it is. It's not even a decline. We now have a complete inversion of morality and decency here on full display. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that as a moral question and as a legal question. I just think it's wrong. It's wrong as a moral question to ban, presumably for minors, because this is where these states have actually banned quote-unquote gender-affirming health care. They haven't banned transgender surgeries or top or bottom surgery for 25-year-olds. They're banning it for children. Joe Biden thinks that it is a moral wrong. It is an ethical wrong for any state to prevent the mutilation of minors to prevent the sexual sterilization of minors. And he is saying this to another man who's pretending to be a woman. This is, this is what we've come to in our civilization. All right, you guys, the rest of the show is continuing now. You're not going to want to miss it. We're going to be getting into Joe Biden and whether he, in fact, will be the 2024 nominee. It looks as though he is imploding on the launch pad. If you're not a member, click the link in the description and join us.